Oh, please, based Zon, please give us a reforge that has both speed and damage. It would be super cool if you would give me speed and damage. Uh, that's damage. Uh, we're playing with fire here. That's got 125 range damage. I'd really like some more speed on it. I don't know. I don't know if I should, dude. I really don't know if I should. But anyways, guys, hello. My name is Python. Welcome back to another episode of the Terraria Ranger playthrough. We really are approaching the end of the series, my friends. We have three pillars here. And what we're going to do in today's episode is we're just going to have a solid playthrough. No cuts. Because what I want to do is I want to pitch together or pitch against these two weapons. So we're going to take down one pillar entirely with the Vortex Beater, with our bullet armor, of course. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take down another pillar entirely with the Phantasm and, of course, the Arrow Helmet. So, what I want to do is try and figure out which one I can do quicker. Okay? Shouldn't be that, you know, difficult, I guess? I don't know. But whatever the case may be, I do want to go ahead and get myself some more Chlorified Bullets because they are going to be useful to our cause. There we go. Let's grab ourselves a heck ton of these bad boys. Okay, that'll do nicely. Okay, so uh, let's grab ourselves some more chlorified bullets. And there we go. A little bit more for the Pythonator. Thank you very much. Brilliant stuff indeed. So just over two stacks of chlorified bullets is the amount we have. Got a bunch of musket balls as well. Musket balls. All right, so yeah, we're going to start off with the Vortex Beater. And the bullet damage. So, this thing does 86 damage. This thing does 72. But if I go ahead and swap them out, this thing now does 83. Okay, not bad. Not bad. So, the pillar we have over here, of course, is going to be the Stardust Pillar. One which isn't going to be that useful to our cause, to be honest. But here we go, my friends. The Chlorified Bullets and everything else should be pretty okay, I guess. Wow. That is... Whoa, 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 whoa. This is quite powerful! Holy crap! It's decimating everybody! <laughs> oh my lord above! Ah, whoa, 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 you sneaky son of a gun! So, yeah. This is doing a fair amount of damage. And just so you guys aren't having your ears blown out of the water, I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn down the in game sound effect volume so you aren't getting just a all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I've just realized I've got absolutely no health potions. That is, uh, that is of a moderate concern. We should pro. Oh, jeez. We should probably get one, huh? That would be a good idea. Right. Oh, we. Oh! Or we could get killed. That's brilliant. I think we should also take deaths into account. Well, then again, I don't know. It's not really a measure. What? What's doing damage? I don't get it. There was something doing a bunch of damage to these dudes. Yeah, I need to get some health potions out. Apparently, I don't have any on me, which is a bit of a doofus move on my part. So, let's go and grab some of those bad boys out. Create a healing potions. And a fantastic. And let's go and put... Oh, what the... What the devil? Hey! I think you can just come along here and wreck all of my peeps up? Y'all yeah, do. That ain't happening, broski. Right, here we go. So... Let's go and uh, carry on with this thing. I'm probably wasting chlorified bullets doing this, to be honest with you guys. But here we go. Let us see how we do. If we can avoid those guys shooting out those weird things, that'd be fantastic. Oh, God, there's a bunch of those weird spider shooty thingy thingy thing things, which I don't really like. Oh, bullets. Bullets? Bubbles. Bubbles! Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, those are uh, those flow invader dudes with the weird floaty things around them. They, uh, yeah, those guys. They're a bit of a pain, huh? Huh, okay. Well, I'm hoping I can get something going here at the very least. Maybe we can go ahead and start using our fish rumblings instead? I mean, they take us a long way. They really, really do. I feel like they'll be worthy to our cause. Oh! I just got wrecked again, huh? God damn it, man. Is that a freaking worm? The Milky Way Weaver. Well, apparently so far, my survival skills have been absolutely next to nothing. I say next to nothing. That obviously means I'm just crap. That's great. All right. Uh, uh, Nursey? Oh, hey, Nursey. How you doing, bro? Oh, what the, what the crap? Hey, bro, get out of here. All right, let's go and uh, put another one of those on. And whoever the heck is shooting me, that ain't appreciated. So please, please do me a good favor and go away and stuff. Right, here we go. Do, 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 do,
Oh my lord, it's amazing. Right, I don't want to be picking up the hearts until I, like, actually need them. I think that'd be a better idea. So yeah, but uh, his, his shield is becoming somewhat translucent. I don't think I'm, like, near to having it taken down. Oh, I could be wrong. I'm hopeful that I'm wrong anyway. <laughs> there are some times in life where it is okay to be wrong. And that would have been one of them. So, yeah. Great. But yeah, I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It's nice every now and again to just, you know, chill and play the game and not cut things out too much. So, I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. I hope you guys just, you know, sit back with a little snack and a drink or a cup of tea, if you were me. And, uh, yeah, you can just sit down and just enjoy the episode with me. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's just be careful here. Here we go. Chlorified bullets may home in on people, but they only shoot one time. Doesn't like they only do one load of damage per time, so yeah. Okay. Right. Get off me. There you go. Fantastic. Uh bubbles. Bubbles! Reminds me of that fish from Finding Nemo. When he opens that little chest and that tank. Bubbles! Oh my god, bubbles! You know? <laughs> you guys know what I'm on about. Yeah, you do. Don't tell me you haven't seen Finding Nemo. Even I've seen it. I'm not even that big a fan of Disney, but I've still seen it. It's a plan, to be honest, it's one of their better Disney films, I feel. So Oh, well. Again, maybe that's just me. Oh, right. Come on. We've got to be getting close now. The star cells, we've got a banner for them now. That's pretty cool. Might be worth chucking down one of those in just a bit here. Uh, could I actually do this if I have some time? Oh, no, you don't. Come on, then. You want to go? I'm ready. I'm ready for your ass. Come on, big bubbles. You're so tough, don't you? Go on, get out of here, bro. Come on, all of you. There you go. Fantastic. Right, let's go and get you put down. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, let's be careful here. Holy. So, yeah, in in all honesty, this, this gun is pretty damn badass. It really is. Combine it with chlorified bullets, and you've got yourself a real good setup going with, uh, with of course, the Shroomite armor. Obviously, the Vortex armor would, you know, take its place in terms of being, you know, best armor. But, holy crap, it's still an amazing setup that I've got here. I'm a big, big fan of it. Like, ranger weapons are probably my second favorite class of weapons next to melee. So, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely glad that I did this uh, Season 2 Let's Play first. So, you know, just easing my way into it. I think the mage would probably be the hardest one to do. Uh, melee would probably be the easiest. So, this one was kind of in the middle, in my opinion. So, yeah. Oh, hey, this thing's down now. Okay, fantastic. All right, let's switch this out and let's start shooting it up. Uh, 7k, 6k, 4k, 3, 1k, and dead. Right, there we go, my friends. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, my God. So, uh, yeah, everybody just got freaking destroyed. Very fine. Very fine indeed. I am very happy with that. Holy crap. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. That was very, very worthwhile. Okay, right, how many fragments? I got 54 last time, I think. Uh, I got 41 from that one. Not bad. Not bad. And three gold coins. That it? Man. Rip off. Okay. Uh, right. Yes. He can go in there. I am holding in hiccups so badly here. Holy crap. <laughs> right. So, next pillar is the Nebula Mage Pillar. And this time we're going to be using the Phantasm with the Shroomite Headgear. Which, of course, is the thingy that we want. So, that's fantastic. Chlorify arrows. Do we have any other arrows that we can use? Bone arrows? Uh, not too bad, I guess. But, uh, what else have we got here? Unholy? We can maybe give Unholy a go. What do you guys think? Ah. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. We can maybe give Unholy Arrows a go. I don't believe we have any... Uh, yeah, we don't have any Unicorn Horns or anything like that. So, Holy Arrows are unfortunately not going to be an option for us. But Unholy Arrows, I think, might be a pretty cool thing to go for. It would be nice if you could make different types of uh, musket or arrow pouches, you know? I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just me. I think that would be a cool idea. But, I don't know, some people might consider that being a little bit OP. So, whatever the case may be, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves the arrow damage thing. And I think what might also go in our favor is if we had some archery potions. Uh, there we go, fantastic. 20% increased damage brings this thing up to 103 damage and brings this up to 16 damage. Very fine. Okay, right, let us see what kind of things we can do. We are absolutely raining arrows upon people. Hey, buddy. 
Oh my goodness. Alright, come on. Right. Oh, man. I feel like what I should have done in terms of survival, I think I should have used the bullets for this because those nebula floaters, as you guys know, I always have a lot of issues with those guys because they just turn up all over the place and it's super annoying. So... I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But uh, yeah, this uh, the special attack with this weapon is the fact that every time you hit an enemy, there was a chance of a whole bunch of random sort of homing arrows being shot out, which is pretty cool. Oh no, there they are, the blooming nebula floats. I hate them so much. Like, you have no idea of the level of hatred I have for those guys. Like, I don't know, man. Next to every single kind of bat in this game, I think... The Nebula Floaters might just be my least favourite mob in this entire game. They are way too overpowered. They really need nerfing, in my opinion. Like, that isn't even, like, a meme or anything. They genuinely need nerfing. <laughs> Seriously. Like, I think... One of two things need to happen in terms of nerfing those Nebula Floaters. Either A, they just plainly decrease the damage. Or B, they increase the amount of time between... What the... Hey, what the crap, bro? Uh, ah, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. And now you're gonna kill all my goddamn NPCs. Yeah, bro, that ain't cool, dude. Oh, well, okay, get killed. <laughs> I don't even know what killed him. Was it my spore sack? Yeah, I think it was, you know. Huh. Right, well, that was, uh, that was eventful. Hey, Nessie, I'm gonna go and get health from you this time. <laughs> oh, what a doofus. Right, here we go. Let's get our buffs back on. I don't want to be using all of my buffs. That's the thing. Like, I want to try and save some. For the Moon Lord when it comes to it. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they are spawning in again. But, yeah, like I said, in terms of nerfing those guys, the other thing I want them to do is, like, increase the amount of time between them teleporting. So, I don't know. I don't know. If the Terraria devs, for some reason, are watching this, it would be kind of cool. That was something that was amended, perhaps, just to make it a little less annoying. We all know that all teleporting mobs in this game are just a massive pain in the ass. So, yeah. Oh, another one blooming come through already. Are you joking? Come on, dude. Are you kidding? Oh, how rude. How unbelievably rude. I can't believe it. They're so freaking bad. Go on. Get off me. Oh, God. Okay. All kinds of crap going on here, huh? All right. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's a... Oh, God. Okay, that's fantastic. More deaths on the cards. More nebula floaters. Look at this. 2,600 health. That could maybe be nerfed as well. 2,600? Like, the Eye of Cthulhu has, what, 2,400 health, doesn't he? On normal mode. I mean, holy crap. I mean, obviously, I can't compare the two. <laughs> Not realistically speaking, anyway. But, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit overpowered. Brain Suckler Banner. Okay, fantastic. Might be worth me putting that down. Right, here we go. I want to try and uh, take out some of these ground mobs real quick. I also want to... Oh, my God. Dude, I'm telling you. They are so annoying. They are unbelievably annoying mobs. Please, re-logic. I beg of you. I get down on my virtual hands and knees and I beg you. Nerf the nebula floaters, please. If you want the sanity of your Terraria community to remain intact, please nerf these guys. Please. Please, nerf them. They're way too overpowered. They plainly are. Oh, my lord above. Right. I wonder if, it, if there was a way of somehow preventing those guys spawning altogether. That would be super appreciated and super awesome to know. But, you know, unfortunately we're not quite that skilled. We're not that quite technical in this game. Which sucks. Oh, good lord above, dudes. This is just unbelievably bad. Oh my god, I regret the decision I made. I should have used bullets for this one and then arrows for the other one. That would have worked out so, so much better, man. Like, I'm not getting mad or anything. I must admit I'm a little bit salty and a tiny bit annoyed at just how ridiculously stupid the nebula floaters are. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't get too angry. I really can't. It's just stupid. It's just one of those things. We just need to get on with the grind. Keep killing these guys. If we can! God, look at how much they teleport. Look at how much they teleport. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. It really, really is. Okay. And there's another one. Of course there is. I hate them. I hate them so much. Oh, man. If ever there was a time for fan art, it would be me showing my express disgusted hatred for the nebula floaters. They are such a piece of crap. 
Like, there isn't even any other way to say it. They really are just a piece of crap. Right. Boom. Boom. We are running out of archery potions. I really wish I used bullets for this one. Because chlorified bullets would have been the way to go. Like, for real. Oh, no. There, there's more guys. Of course there is. There's two of them. Of course there is. There's two of them. Brilliant. Okay, right. We're doing really well, apparently. Not what... Uh, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. They're too OP. They're too OP. Nebula floaters. Please be nerfed. Please be nerfed. Please. Please. Look at this. Look, it is nearly impossible to avoid their attacks. It's so ridiculous. Right. Uh, it's becoming translucent, but it would be really nice if it was dead. So I can actually get on with this thing, man. And I get killed again. Of course I do. Look, these guys aren't even dropping any money anymore. I'm not dropping any money anymore because I don't have any. <laughs> oh, my sanity is decreasing by the minute. This is this is brilliant. This is brilliant. This is just brilliant. Oh, wait. Who, what? Huh? What? Oh, no, 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 no. No, that isn't fair. That isn't fair. Why would you do such a thing? No. Why? Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Why would you ever, ever do that? Don't ever invade my base again. I will murk you so hard that you will not know what has happened to you. For real. So, yeah. I'm almost thinking I should go ahead and put on the quiver instead and have these all hit them. I don't know. Maybe I'll endure better luck with these things. Because holy arrows go straight through them, right? Whereas every single time I hit someone or... Well, the fact of the matter is, I can hit every single one of my bullets onto one enemy if it's a type of arrow that does not pierce. So, like I said, maybe, just maybe, I'll endure better luck with regular arrows. It is entirely possible. It is entirely possible. I don't know whether it will be the case, but maybe this is the mistake I've been making. Maybe I should have been using regular arrows the whole time. I mean, I'm doing quite a lot of damage now. A thousand damage per second. There's another, another nebula floater right there. Uh, they seem to be getting taken down a lot easier. Huh. Fascinating. I am learning things even now after all of these years of playing this game. And honestly, I think that the endless quiver might just be the best thing to take down these guys with. Well, I was saying that, maybe Holy Arrows would have been a cool idea, but I don't I don't really have any, so, yeah. Right, let's see what we can do with this. Oh, my goodness. 7,006k, 4k, 2k, and dead. 3,000 damage per second. Wow. That's crazy. I don't know what the damage per second value was for the, uh, for the, what's it called? For the Vortex Beater, but that's quite a lot. 3,000 damage per second? That's like Moon Lord taking down territory, you know? That's pretty damn badass. Huh. Alright, well, that's kind of cool. Alright, let's go grab those fragments. And, yeah. We now have, ladies and gentlemen, the most difficult pillar in this game to take down. And I've got to be honest, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm not even kidding when I say that. I'm really not looking forward to it because it's so difficult to take down. For real. It really, really is. Oh my goodness. Right, so here's what I'm going to go and do. Uh, I should probably get healed up first of all. Uh, Nursey? Oh, hey, Nursey, how you doing there, Boski? Hmm, yes, or, hmm, ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. This episode was dedicated to the Vortex Beta versus the Phantasm. I think we should leave the Moon Lord and the Solar Pillar for the next episode, my friends. Let me know which one you guys prefer in the comments area below. I think... It's a difficult decision. It really, really is. The Vortex Beater is a catastrophically brilliant gun. It really is 66% chance not to consume ammo. Oh, this one also has that as well. But this one shoots out a random burst of energy every now and again and combine it with chlorified bullets or even crystal bullets and you've got yourself a whopping great gun right here. But then, on the other hand, the Phantasm actually does more damage, more base damage, but, with this, I actually think that arrows that don't pierce might actually be a better fare for crowd control rather than unholy arrows or any arrows that do pierce. I don't know. I honestly don't know. 
It's an interesting one. Let me know. In fact, do you know what? On screen right now, there's going to be a YouTube poll card. Click on that. Leave your vote. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the Phantasm or the Vortex Beater? It's a close one for me. I honestly can't call it. I really, really can't. Maybe some points that you guys raise in the comments area might just sway my opinion, but it's very close peggings for me. It really, really is. So yeah, let me know, guys. I'm actually kind of curious to, to know which one you prefer in the uh, in the YouTube poll card. And of course, you can also leave your reasoning in the comments if you so wish. But anyways, guys, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be time to end this particular episode here. Like I said, it's, it's nice every now and again to just uh, play the game and not really cut out all that much and just see how we do, really. So if you guys enjoy this kind of thing, then do be sure to drop a like rating. It is the best way of letting me know if you'd like to see more and I would appreciate the support nonetheless. Hit that subscribe button as well if you do not want to miss out on future content, my friends. And next episode they're going to be going up against the moon lord for the very first time oh man i'm looking forward to it but i'm also dreading it at the same time because i always dread first time moon lord <laughs> hey guys thank you very much for watching i really really do appreciate your continued support very much so and i will see you guys in the next episode